Alright, so you just got your hyperspin drive and you want to get it up and running. Well, the easiest thing to do to get started is make sure that the drive is the right letter. In uh, our example here, you can see that it is something funky like L. So, what you want to do is choose L, right click, change drive letters and paths, change, use this drop down and look for D. If D is not in this drop down, that means something else is labeled D. So you would select that one first, go through this process, and change it to something other than D so that you can change your hyperspin drive to D. And you would click OK. Disregard this, uh, this little warning right there. <laughs> and give it a minute, and it will reappear as drive letter D. So you go into D, folder called Start Here, and uh, you want to click one of these two to get yourself rolling, 32 or 64 bit. If you're not sure, right click on Computer, go to Properties, look for your system type right here. That'll get you started. Uh, mine's a 64 bit. I'm going to skip through a good bit of this because it's already installed. Because it's already installed, it's probably going to give me a couple of errors, including um, that zero files copied. You see where it says zero files copied? It's because they're already on my system. Um, it should show two files copied. If it doesn't, uh, you may have trouble with one of your emulators, but we'll, we'll address that later. DirectX may come with some of your games that you've already had on your system. I always let this run uh, the first time. but because we're going through this demo we're going to cancel it we're going to cancel everything as we go through you would let them go through all continually the main purpose of showing you this is so that you can see what uh, each screen will look like when it pops up they'll pop up one after the other It takes a minute. It, it installs the .NET framework, all sorts of Visual C++. If you have a 32-bit system, it does go a little bit uh, quicker. There's three or four installations that it does not have to do. Um, it will still do the .NET framework for, though, four and four and a half, I think. But again, I'm going to cancel so that we can get through this quickly. Because there is a message that I do want everybody to see at the end so that you know everything that was supposed to install at least made an attempt because the way the batch file is set up um, it does one after another after another and we're almost there trust me <laughs> Damon Tools needs that to mount all of your uh, virtual disk images that is some part of uh, Visual Studio 2010, I think. And this is what you're looking for. Please reboot. You can if you like. Um, I kind of recommend it. It will probably free up some RAM. I know the video was kind of short, uh, but the next one I will try and describe uh, a couple of things, like uh, if you're missing some ROMs. That's what most people have been asking about. So we'll start there next. All right. Bye for now.